And we said, sort of in the beginning, there was, um, there was, there was man, obviously, or apes, depending on what you believe. Um, and then what, ha what eventually happened was uh, organizations and uh, us as individuals started to, to bring all these um, different ways of communicating together. Um, and we used to, very much in, in Unilever, we used to think of privacy and we used to think of security, physical security and information security, cyber security, as, as different facets. And what we've slowly done is we've, ha we've had to join together and align those strategies because they were working in isolation. It was a very <coughs> sort of um, basic way of operating and that wasn't working. Um, so that was the first thing. And then, then we had to think about, well, hang on a minute, we're, we're at such an incredible pace here. Um, there, I mean, it, it, it's, it's well known that there are almost as many mobile devices in the world as there are people. Um, and the one thing that's interesting about mobile devices, they all come in one flavor, and that's connected. Um, and I don't know about you, but I know that using social media um, via, via your phone uh, or or device, um, you can buy toothpaste, but actually you can also use it to overthrow a government. So people are becoming more and more addicted to what's um, termed as the what I want, when I want it, where I want it. And we know from experience working with media, um, uh, different incidents that have happened to us and to what we've recognized in the industry, that. The, that really what's happening here is you've got some, some people who, who have got, um, you've fallen into two different categories. You've got people that have got more uh, money than time and are, are willing to pay for this, to, to remedy that solution. However, it's, it's the people that have got more time uh, than money that's the real danger for us. And we had to recognize that in, the, in, in this uh, interconnected world. So we started by understanding the different attack vectors, the different types of risks, and how those risks w could transpire in our organization. So we, so we almost went back to basics in terms of thinking about this. Um, and whilst we're doing that, we also recognize that we're moving to this part, this, you know, this world where everything's connected, it's always on, it's on demand, and um, we really, really wanted to get to our marketing position where we can be responsive, uh, responsive to, to a consumer's desire um, for marketing needs that, that cuts through the noise with um, pinpoint delivery. So then we, came, then we started to think about, well, hang on a minute, this, this age of the consumer is actually driving us as an organisation. It's changing, changing the face of Unilever and the culture of Unilever. Um, so so it's, it's a sort of symbiotic a evolution of technology and, and combined with consumer experiences that's driving behaviours. So really, whatever we design, we need to know uh, that, it, that it sort of falls into these four categories. So when designing policy, when implementing systems, when, when implementing um, privacy impact assessments, when doing all of this, we needed to think, well, well, what is it that's driving our consumers? And that falls into these four categories. It, it's the now, um, it's the can I, it's the for me, and it's simply. And, and so if you take those almost as your design principles and start to apply that um, to your systems and to your ways of thinking, then, then it really does change um, perceptions and it really does start to get people to think differently about what privacy means to them as individuals and as an organisation. <coughs> 